my first video has now officially hit two years ago, which is crazy. It's my first video to ever hit two years, but it was a terrible video on how to do a house tutorial, and I never finished it. I know what you're thinking. Well, Blake, you must not really like Minecraft. You do not upload it. I play it every day. I don't hate this game. It's probably like, no, it's probably like one of my favorite games. I just don't record it. Now's your chance to comment down below, should I make a survival series? I'd love to do one. But this time, we're actually gonna do a house tutorial that we're actually gonna finish. So just for now, you're gonna want quartz stairs, birchwood planks, polished diorite stairs, quartz slabs, and a block of quartz. So for starters, what you're gonna do, you're gonna one, two, three, four over with quartz blocks. So it should look like this. It should be a one by four. Then what you wanna do is come up one, two, three, and come up here, one, two, three, four. So it should look something like a U. Okay, don't worry about the last one. Make sure it looks like this. This is the final design. Make sure it is four down this side, four down this side, and two in the middle, okay? Two in the middle, not three, two in the middle. Then you wanna come out two more and put down some quartz slabs. These are gonna be your stairs to come up to the house, okay? Your front door is gonna be right here. Now you can use whatever door you'll, you like, but I'm gonna be using jungle doors because jungle doors, I know they're made from the jungle and they don't look as modern, but if you do match up with a few things, it does look pretty good. But if you do want to, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't want your doors to be like this, just come around the other side and flip them like this. That looks a little bit better. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. And at the top here, you wanna get out your quartz stairs and place them in just like that. So from this side, it looks like this. From the other side, it looks like this. Or it doesn't matter which way you do it, or you can do it like that. I think I'm gonna leave it like this, but you can do whatever you want. Then on the inside, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So two by five. So it should look like, so from this door, you can go one, two, three, four, five, and do the exact same on the other side. It should come five out from the doors. Now get your block of quartz back out and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then come up until it reaches this even height, and then just bring it all the way over. So it look, should look something a little bit like this. So from the doors, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up three, then loop it back around. Now you guys are gonna get out white stained glass pane and go one, two, one, two, and in the middle, you wanna go, oh, what should we do in the middle? You go, you could do like a weird pattern like that. Okay, okay, maybe not, okay, just wait. Okay, you know what? Just fill this all in with white stained glass paint. So it should look something a little like this. And then just fill this area in with birchwood planks. So now it should look something a little like this, you know? It's not that bad. Now what you wanna do is come to here and go one, two, three, four, five, and come up one, two, three, and one, two, three, and put that like that, and put white stained glass right here. It should look something a little like this. So if you come through the doors and come over here, it should look like this. Now what we're gonna do is come first. So this is the door. Go up one, one, two, three, and put one, two polished diorite stairs, and put another two here, and put some spruce trap doors up like this. So then it should look, it should look like some lounges. And then whatever you want, you can do whatever carpet you want, but I'm gonna be doing purple carpet because purple is my most loved color. I literally just can't get over how good purple looks on everything. If I wanted to, I would literally dye my hair purple. I just love purple that much. 
Oh, no, I'm sorry, God. Just put um Birch Planks down here. I don't think I did that already, but you guys can add that in. Now, from here, so it should be even. If it's not even like this, then you've done something wrong. But you want to come out one, two, three, four, five. That's it. And then start filling this in. So it should look like this, and it should come out five. If it doesn't come out five, then you've done it wrong. If it comes about seven, break down two blocks. It should only come out from the wall five. Then do exactly what you've done here, but until it reaches the end here. Oh, that they are not okay. You know what? We can just do that. But you know, get out your block of quartz and just put that in. I've accidentally done slabs, but you know that doesn't really matter. And then raise it up by three and bring that over and just fill this in with some white stained glass paint. Wait, what? White stained glass paint. And if you guys want to, you can come to the front door and do a pattern of carpet. So I'm gonna go light gray carpet and gray carpet, then gray carpet, then light gray carpet, then light gray carpet, then gray, you know exactly what I mean. I'm not gonna go over this, but it should look, you know, like a really cool pattern like carpet. And on this side is going to be the little kitchen area. So just get everything out of your inventory, have an empty inventory. And what you're going to want to get is a furnace, quartz slabs, and that's it for now. Obviously, we're going to need a lot more. Um, oh, actually, let's finish off the wall. So I'm just going to grab these two blocks and just finish this off. But this wall is going to be completely empty, okay? So go exactly what you did over there, but just make it completely empty and just make it quartz. Okay, so what you also want to get out is an iron trap door, an, an iron door, iron door, not iron trap door, an iron door. And you also want to get out a dispenser. Where's the dispenser? There. And a lever and a stack of whatever food you would like. Where is the food? I'm probably gonna go with, I'm probably gonna go with cooked salmon because salmon is so good. So what you wanna do, you're gonna put block of quartz, then the dispenser, put the iron trap door back to front so it should look like this. Crouch, put a lever there. And if you do this, it opens the door and activates the dispenser. But if you want, put a button in so it like opens then closes like this so what you want to do go on the dispenser and just put your cooked food in there just like this you can put it anywhere you can just do you know that 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 but anyway there and then if you click the button oh that went far but yep yeah, it pretty much just drops the cooked food for you, you know what? right it might eat a little bit even though i literally don't need to eat it at all just gonna put it back in there then you want to put quartz slab, then furnace, then furnace, then a quartz slab. So it should look something a little like this. And then you're going to add a counter in the middle and go one, two, three. And then look, it's, a, it's not a bad kitchen, you know? It's not very a lot of space, but you know. And if you want to, you can add some stools. I don't know how to make stools, so I'm going to try my very best. And do, do be with me if I do get this wrong. But we'll get our oak trap doors. So you're gonna go, how close are we boo? Should we just do like one or two? Let's do two. So you go that, that, then that, then like this. There you go. That's not a bad stool. So pretty much just do that. So come behind, crouch, and put two trap doors, break the bottom one, activate the second one, then put a trap door down. It also actually looks pretty good. It's a, it's a little bit too high, but you know, it doesn't matter. And I know what you're thinking, this is only gonna be a one floor. So then we wanna do, so get anything out of your inventory, we don't need that for now. So get Birchwood planks, the carpet you used, and some block of quartz. And if, you, if you're wondering how I'm just grabbing blocks from everywhere, basically you just go into your settings and then you go to video, audio profile, is it in video? No, it would be in wireless controller, and then you go down to here, and I use the bottom on the D-pad, is it? It's one of the bottom on the D-pad. Yeah, so I press bottom on my D-pad, 
which is on the l left side of your controller, uh, uh, the opposite from your buttons. So if I go and find the bottom on the D-pad through here, it says pick block. So basically, I can just go up to any block, press down the D-pad, and I get that block. But anyway, it is pretty useful. I don't think you can do it on mobile, which isn't the best, but you know, if you do have a controller or a keyboard and mouse, you just do that. But anyway, you want to come down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just nine, and then do that, and then continue your pattern. There we go. So it looks something a little like that. Now, this is going to be the bedroom, and this is going to be like the toilet and like laundry area. So what you're going to do is come over here and come down until it comes... Oh my god, move sheep. You, you remind me of when I did the one block sky block. So please do not interrupt me again or someone will die. So basically, just do that. Make it even with the top of this. So it should look something a little like this. And then just fill this in with birchwood planks. So it should look something a little like this. Now what we're gonna do is come one block away from this one, okay? So you have your windows, then come to here, and then come away from here. So pretty much, it should look something like, like this, and then just come down until you hit the carpet, just like that. So it should look something a little like this, and then just make this the one wall. No, nothing, just block of quartz. And if you are feeling a little decorative, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it anyway, decorative or decorative, it's either one of them, and just put a painting down. Um, I don't want a big painting, I just want like a 4x4, four four. so we're going to do that, and just put a painting in. There you go, that one works. You can have a painting there, you can have, uh, you can have a painting in the kitchen, maybe I have like a 1x1 one one painting in the kitchen, just like that, you know, you can do whatever. Um, then you can go to here, actually put that up there, and then come down... One, two, three, okay, you know what, just do that. And then for the window, we're gonna have, obviously we're gonna have, actually, instead of pulling it out, I'm just gonna go over here and grab it. Just grab white stained glass again, and then go across. Don't hit the corner though, actually. Go two away from the corner, and then just block that off. So it should look something yeah, like that. And have this against the wall as well, so it looks pretty good. And then no windows on this side, just this. Now for the bed, um, actually that, isn't, that looks really ugly, I'm not doing that. Like that, that works. So get everything out of your inventory. Now I'm not gonna put a bed down, because if I put a bed down, this is the room and that's the bed. That's not, no, we're not doing that. So basically what you're gonna do is grab out any colored wool. You already, got, you already know what colored wool I'm getting out. I'm getting the best color in the world, which is purple. And then you wanna get out it's a block of quartz. Actually, I could have just done that. And then you want to get a pillowcase. And you can do whatever carpet color you want. I'm probably going to go with... Blue. It might not match, but I'm just going to do it anyway. And go So from two from the wall, go one, two, three. So it should be three away from the carpet and two away from the wall. Then if you put your blue carpet down, there's your pillows. And then you go one, actually no, it's the, and then you go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, should be just a three by three, which is the nine, and that's your bed. It doesn't look that bad. Now we're gonna make some drawers. Now, what you wanna do, so one away from the wall, one, two, three, oh, sorry, I didn't even say what you have to use. You can use whatever color wood you want and whatever color birch button you want. That made so much sense, but basically get out what any wood you want and whatever button you want, so go, like this, so it's a two by six, it's a two by three, sorry, one away from the wall and four away from the carpet. And then just go, you know, just put buttons on it. There you go, there are your drawers. And you can have a bedside table, you can do whatever color would you want. I'm probably gonna do some jungle and do that. And probably that. No, that looks terrible. 
Maybe I could just use a crafting table or something. That works. I'm probably going to do it again. It does hide away the quartz under here as well. So I might just do crafting tables. And if you want, you can add some carpet around your room. Now, I'm probably going to use... Probably not purple this time. But maybe lime. So... Sorry, I haven't even added the doors in. So you can use whatever door you want to your bedroom. But I'm probably going to use for a... I'm going to probably go with the classic oak door. One, two. One, two, three. It's going to be a two-door bedroom door, if you get what I mean. It goes like this. You walk in, and there'll be carpet. Where should we put the carpet? Let's put the carpet just around the bed. We don't need carpet anywhere else. Just go around the bed. So it looks very, very colourful. That looks actually not that bad. And then, we're going on to the final room, okay? So grab quartz blocks. That's all you need for now. So come to here, so next to the kitchen... I'm gonna come down to the end and then come over here. And then obviously at the end here, you can just raise that up. Cause actually nothing, there's gonna be nothing down here. Unless you wanna add something yourself, you can do that. You can even add room extension. You can go, like, you can build like another layer to this house if you want, but I'm only gonna do one. So there's nothing gonna be at the end here. I'm gonna do that and that and pretty much just raise it up until it's even with the top. There we go, so it shouldn't be the exact same room size as your bedroom, it should be a little bit smaller. It should be about two blocks smaller. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, sorry, it's one block smaller. But it looks like it's like a couple blocks smaller, but it's actually only one block smaller. Now, for your bathroom, you wanna go and get white concrete, and black concrete. Now I know you, you probably guess what we're doing already. Now I know not many bathrooms have checkerboard patterns, but I'm building the house, so I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna go white concrete, black concrete, and then pretty much just continue the pattern all throughout this room. You can even just like do this and then add the white. That's probably the faster option. There's no other faster option to do. But it sucks when you're building like a Fire to Freddy's and you have to do like the whole floor just doing checkerboard patterns. It's really annoying. But then look, I'm already done. And then you can just add this. That's not quartz. But that is. There we go. Just add that up. Okay, maybe maybe the bathroom does look good with the checkerboard pattern. This whole house just looks good because this wall's here now. But anyway, I'm going to put a... Uh, dark oak door, yeah, dark oak door, and put that on top. Now, for your toilet, I know how to build toilets, I remember how I used to do it. It used to be like that, no, like that, and then like that, like that. I could have sworn that's how you did them. No, it's not, wait, it's like that. There you go, that looks better. And you can do whatever trapdoor you want for your toilet seat. I'm probably going to go with, um, not that, because it's see-through. Imagine having a see-through toilet lid. That would be very weird. There we go. That's a little bit better. And we can have a modern sink. We're not going to be using a cauldron. We're actually going to be using, for our sink, block of quartz and quartz stairs. There we go. And we can get out our water bucket. Now, you're being a little bit confused here, are you? You're going to put a block of quartz here and a block of quartz here, one away from the wall, and put in a quartz stairs backwards and put water in there. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah, and how can I forget the tripwire hook, which kind of looks like a sink tap. There we go. That looks a lot better. Now we're going to go into the bathtub, which will go right next to the toilet. So you can go like that, and then you just fill that in. And maybe, maybe change the floor to just that. There we go. And if you want to have a shower, you can. My shower's not going to be very big, actually, but I'm still going to do one. You can go one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. And then what you can do, grab a water bucket. Does that work? That works. There's your shower. There's your bath, toilet, sink. And everything. There's just no mirror because if there's a mirror, it'd go through straight through the kitchen. But anyway, 
let's add the roof, and the roof is just gonna be simply block of quartz. And there you have it. We actually haven't done the lighting in here yet. So basically what you want to do, get a redstone lamp and a lever and try and find, so come to here, this block here, next to here. So come to this block, look straight up, break it, fly out, put the redstone lamp and activate it. So if you go back in, there's now a light. Now the kitchen, go from this block here, look straight up, break it, fly out, and activate it. There we go, so it should look something, yep, like that. Now come into the bedroom, and come, oh, where are we gonna go? Go here, right in the middle of the bed, look up, then go another block away, so it should look like this, one above the carpet, one above the bed, put two in, put the lever in the middle, and activate it. Now. This should be in here. Yep. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go here. So it's one block away from the toilet, one block away from the bath, and it should be just one block above them to here. Look straight up. Out you go. Put the redstone lamp and activate it. Well, there you go with a modern house tutorial. It may not look good on the uh, the outside, but it does look pretty decent on the inside, you know? There's no lamp in the hallway, but that's okay. Here's the bedroom, looks pretty good. And I'm pretty sure the favorite part is this because it looks a little bit more, you know, like that. But anyway, that will do it for today. Here's the kitchen, doesn't look that bad. But anyway, there is your house tutorial that I've actually finished. And I know it doesn't look good on the outside, it's all that matters what's on the inside. But anyway, I hope you all did enjoy that video and tutorial. And I'll see you all in the next one.